There he is. Welcome back, class. Ten o'clock, man. Yeah. How are you doing, man? It's time. Stop the hour, man. <laughs> oh, boy. Don't tell me we have technical difficulties again. <laughs> oh, that ain't good. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> that answers that question. You're listening to WRFB Radio Free Britannia and no other freaking better place in the world than Deltona, Florida. Here you are, lunch with no other than the dynamic duo, Laz and Jack. Hey, Les. <laughs> Technical difficulties, folks. One, two, three. Can you hear me? <laughs> we can hear you now. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, we never made it on the radio, so none of that went out. It's all good. It's on video. So I mean, go ahead and do the intro. And now, part. or is <laughs> it? We still have to get a radio show here going. Oh, welcome to another Let's edition see, of when, Lunch when, with Les and Jack. Died, the bot died and we lost everything. So until we can get this going, we got hey, the the, the bot the bot played the intro, man. <laughs> How did the bot play the intro? It, I, <laughs> I loaded up the bot. <laughs> did you hear it when it came in? Yeah, and the, but the bots were crashed me. How can the bot the crash bot, you? <laughs> the bot didn't crash you. Bot left and came back in. It crashed everything. All Windows right. 10 crashed you, man. <laughs> the bot's not on your computer. How can it crash you? <laughs> okay. Uh, whatever whatever you want to call it. <laughs> oh, I can see Jack's. And when when, when it's it triggered it inside my Discord and fucked my audio. Does that make more sense? Huh. Yeah. Welcome to another edition of Lunch with Laz. Technical difficulties long and Jack, where we interpret the news so you don't have to. Yeah, uh, we're going <laughs> to kill this thing. It's fucking... <laughs> what, what, what are you killing? Laz the executioner. Yep. Waiting on Laz to figure things out. It sounds like he's hey. killing his mic. <laughs> hey, but you, you, you know what? In 54 days, we do have launch. 54 days for launch. But in the short term, tomorrow will be the post-mortem telethon for release 50. And uh, I still have to message Barrick and tell him I'm probably not going to be able to make it oopsies it's in one day two hours 55 minutes and 51 seconds uh -oh. yeah yeah yep laz is restarting everything so he's got a nice beautiful gray like, like you think i have a choice here you have no <laughs> choice whatsoever <laughs> it's it's like yesterday afternoon like right after the like during the show where it's like restarting everything yeah get it an hour before the show everything's working fine as soon as that bot did whatever it did in discord it the, the <laughs> audio oh, went no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's the bot. Yeah. like I, it transferred audio to something else i don't yeah. know why i, I, I have, have no I, idea <laughs> don't ask me I don't know what to say uh, yep. So, so, to tell you. So, so now, now I'm doubled up on the screen while Laz is doing things. Uh, but while we're waiting for Laz to get back, uh, 
we can start looking at things that are going on as I try to find the picture for Laz and say, boom, there you go. Let's see, what are we going to look at? What are we going to look at? I don't know. You, you didn't get in here actually in voice till like moments before, so I had no idea where you wanted to go. Of course, Zepp and I had a wonderful well, y'all were talking politics. politics, yeah, while, but while you were off do, doing it, whatever, so but yeah. but at the same time, you do know that we are on opposite sides of the political spectrum, and oh, I that, understand that, that. That's but just gonna got nothing to do with the show. I mean, we yeah, nothing else to talk about since yeah. you were off. Uh, right, right. What was he, what was he doing, Zep? What did you see him doing there? Yeah, I can hop into Obama videos, I guess. <laughs> Why would I be doing that? Uh -huh. uh, Oh, in Red Long, that's right. Yeah. We've got stand up. We've got questions. We've, We've got, got a post mortem tomorrow. There's, yeah, uh, yeah. Got, got we, my, we got my invite to the party. So now yep. I gotta go ahead and. What, what time did you. Oh, thanks, Eagle. Thanks, Eagle. What time, what? What, what time did you get your, uh, your confirmation email? Oh, I don't know. Sometime yesterday. Oh, uh, check mine. let me mine. bring mine I up real quick. Look. Hold on. Check mine. Yeah, you didn't. You, you didn't get yours. Up? <laughs> the fuck? I got it at six thirty-four p.m. yesterday. Okay, so they sent them out at in bulk. Yeah, it said. Well, it says it came out in bulk. I mean, if you yeah, read it in bulk. we are the we were the first wave of invitees. That's right. Uh, currently, right? So you got that. With it, more to come. So notice you're looking to attend first wave that party. You do have to register on their website, and because it is limited to 100 uh, backers of the game. So make sure that if you plan on attending the launch event in Austin, that you do register for that. That that is on the the front page as well as uh, in the weekend update and all kinds of different places. No, it was limited. Well, they've they, they, they've only said that yes. half a dozen times, man. Yes, since uh, uh, limited to one hundred attendees. I'm gonna have yeah. What's and the count? just as a reminder, according to the invite, um, if if you RSVP that, an RSP is for that person only. Only, yeah. So it's only so one if Led Zep person. RSVPs. It's only good for Led Zepp. Like yeah, can't yeah. Bring my old lady or what? No, nope. you can't. Your old lady's got an oh, RSVP separate. That's, that's right. One I, guest I per registration. Telling anybody who wants to RSVP who may have significant others that they need individual RSVPs out there. So. Uh, um, make sure understand that because uh, you get, you get an invite. You get one guess, it says. No, it you does do not. not. You do not get any guess. It is one request for one invitation. That's right. Yes. Well, so while we're doing that and uh, you're, you're doing weird things, we can talk about the stand up corner because it, we've got interesting stuff in the stand up corner. Don't forget the stand up corner is where the devs say, hey, I worked on this yesterday. I'm working on this today. Something random gets written down and eventually it gets posted to the interwebs and we eventually. get to it. Yes. So today is Torta Thursday. And that means that we get to talk about what ha what they said in Wednesday's Hump Day's stand-up corner. So we have over in the art department, Bob the Builder. Cult of Bob. Working on the ornate dual wax player. Because he, he wants to be scratching those wax cylinders. Just don't do it too hard because you don't want to like really put that one track in there where your your wax cylinder just gets stuck in that one loop that was always i, I, I want to yeah. make my own wax cylinder well you can you know i'm i'm surprised i haven't gotten that feature yet personally but That'd i actually cool. saw the uh two wax cylinder uh phonograph that, that, that pretty cool 
where where you had a picture of a star standing in front of it d doing the DJ thing. Yes, that was a pretty cool picture. Then Damon working on the ice field visual effects. Fletcher. Fletch. Working on yes. heraldry tabard armor. Yeah, uh, sound gal cat working on the lunar rift yeah. sound effects and bear sound effects. And Ronnie D. Douglas joining us in chat out there. How you doing? Woohoo! Then after that, we do have Kevin Wells, the Ugly Fist, working on the Ugly Fist, the Bears, Fist, the Bears, the Bears, da, da, da Bears, da, da, da Bears, the Bears, the <laughs> Bears, the Almighty Geeks of Argach, Matt. Making those scorpions do the dance party and sit. Sit, Ubu, sit. Sit, Ubu, sit. Yes, I, I miss that. What TV show was that on for the sit, Ubu, sit? Everyone you ever watched done by uh, James... Uh, what, no, not James. Oh, that's right. It, it, was, it was all over the 80s. I remember that. James but, L. Brooks. At the end of all, James L. Brooks, was it? I have no idea. I, I just remember. Is that the yeah. end of all the shows? Yeah. Sit, Ubu, sit. Yeah. production company. Yeah. And then uh, <laughs> yeah. Reed working on the sound dra or Snow Dragon. Snow and, Dragon. And Map Review. Map Review. Scotty. It's working on physical goods planning and box layout and certificate layout. Don't forget, there's all kinds of certificates coming out, like the Tinkerer Certificate, if you have that pledge reward as well as the lot deeds, all kinds of things. And Lily is doing weird things. She just did like a flip I off of my heard bed. that over here. Yeah. I, I, she had her claws in my quilt, and I, I yeah, think what? she, yeah, she, she just forgot to release. Claws into your what? Quilt. Oh. Oh, and now, now that Laz is joining Zoom, it's messing up my camera stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, your face just went off. Yeah, that's because Laz joined and it kicked me to a different camera. And wait, I'm going to do it again to you, so I wouldn't go <laughs> messing around. So. I know. Yeah, I got an easy solution. I just, just disabled my camera temporarily. Uh, then after that, we do have... Uh, over in design, oh, I, I, I got you and me up there, and we just ain't moving. We're just uh, there. everybody's frozen. <laughs> yeah, it's even better. Uh, over in design, Beezus, the B, working on rusty oh. weapon visuals and recipes. Sea Wolf, Sea Wolf, reviewing some maps and South Midmere Way. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Damien. Yeah. Working on the map review in Solace Bridge Outskirts. Dan the Man. Dan the Man. Working on map review and challenge dungeon updates in Serpent Spine or clustering. Woohoo! Clusters of Ore. Sanyo working on map review. And Palisade Gate updates. And Virtue Leg quests. Yay. Maybe you'll eventually be able to get all of your armor sets. Yay. Uh, it's uh, Lum the Mad. Working. Yeah. Join in the map review. Where Sorcerer Steve's working on the map review. And the South Fetid Swamp. The Energy Vortex, List Rostov, working on map review, and The Lost Veil. Before the show, I did actually uh, have a question for The Energy Vortex, and he did answer it, even with a, a, a spoiler disclaimer. So, spoiler alert, everybody. Spoiler alert. The Lost Veil is not the Hidden Veil. It is not. 
The hidden veil. No. So the lost veil is someplace completely different. And that is something where they did allude to the fact that the lost veil would only be able to be accessed at certain times. And so it's going to be a much more rare uh, experience for everybody. So it'll be interesting. And I have no reason to point, point or do anything anymore or do any kind of hand gestures other than flicking the bird at people or doing other weird things. Because um, <clears throat> no one can see it, at least on my, ca my camera. Over in tech, Dr. Bobby. Little Bobby Thompson. Working on the bugs. Bug. And loot rules. Gonna get some rules. I, I want my loot, because it rules. <laughs> Eric's working on bugs. Bug. And vendor AI updates. <clears throat> the wizard smoke. Smoke, goodness. Wizard Smoke working on the code cleanup and CS tools and heraldry and user interface updates. Woohoo! And how's it going, Rhonda? Missed ya. The Deathbringer, one and only, working on heraldry and grave names. Ooh. And release 51 tasks. And because don't forget, one of those early pledge rewards was that. Uh, Every person would have their name in the Brittany graveyard. And so that way, whenever you visit that scene, you'd actually be able to find your name based off of those accounts. And that's all the backers of the game. Ooh. The Burning Toad. The Burn. Working on bugs. Bug. And builds. And Black Sun support and player own town updates. The Rock. Core. Working on heraldry submissions and image store updates. Tassel is working on web updates and partner support and API updates. Ah. Well, hopefully your your game is back to working the way it should, so we we've missed you. Uh, let's see. Where was I at? Did I do Tassilo? You were at Studio Services. Oh, okay. Services. 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 Like all yeah. the services you can get at Trout Marketplace. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Whereas <laughs> Andrea is working on the bug forums. Uh, Barrick's working on Travian Leads Meeting and Community Policy Review. And contest planning. Contest planning. Yeah, I mean, they had to, they had to go over the fact that you know what, where yeah. they are going to allow <clears throat> any sir any any cash transaction, real money transaction between players is I acceptable just, as long as it doesn't involve an exploit. Yeah, it's all, all perfect. EU, EU, yes, EU. Yep. Perfectly acceptable. Yep. So it, so that selling uh, your XP runs to other people for cash, perfectly fine. Because you know what? They're not going to be able to stop it. Hey, Laz finally got something on there. Here, I'm going to... There. I, I can display my picture again. Yay! Yeah. Hey, <laughs> you're still gray, but yeah. Yeah, it's going to crash again, so yeah. I wouldn't even about it. Then, uh, let's see, where was I at? Uh, Chaos working on patch notes and Travian meet, leads meeting in general business and business. customer service and backer support. Serafina working on that customer service. Wonderful customer service. And your regression tests and event tracking. Over in useless overhead, we have the Dippy Bird. Working on Bird. performance updates and meetings, performance meeting and updates where, you know what, Gorn. The Gorn. 
working on his red speedo as he try, tries the Travian leads meeting and general business. Business. Hutch working on some speed tree harvesting and map review and character review and banners. Banners. Yeah, yeah. See, he, he's still trying to figure out the speed weed. It was free. They should have gotten it. Lord British. Who, who said they did? Didn't. <clears throat> oh, they may have. I, I have no idea. I, I, I guarantee you one of those devs downloaded a copy just to have it. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it, it, it may not be. Yeah. Uh, again, yeah. just just to have it on hand. I'm sure somebody got it. But anyway. Yep. Um, Wouldn't then, be surprised if you find one or two strays out there as uh, yeah, yeah. Easter eggs. But that's... Uh, uh, let's see. Let's see. Lord British. We're on the Tra Travian Leeds meeting and travel. And Sasha working on the Travian Leeds meeting and Black Sun support and metrics. Metrics. And last not but not areas. least, we have the Dork Star working on the map review and Travian Leeds meeting and forum posts and South by Southwest planning and telethon. That's what our devs say they were working on yesterday. Woohoo. Very cool. Yeah. See, see the, the best part of that about that was that information related to the lost veil being separate than the hidden veil. Because initially when they were talking about the lost veil, I thought they were just screwing up the hidden veil. Because I, I know how much Lum hates the hidden veil. And so he he may have well, been trying to allude to it as the lost cause veil. I, I don't know. Quite possible. That's no, no, quite but possible. remember, yeah. I said I asked List beforehand. The lost veil is a completely new scene. We'll oh. just have to wait and find out. That's all. Yeah, something like that. Spoiler alert. Something like. That. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, moving right along, uh, we do have the post-mortem telethon happening tomorrow. And, of course, uh, that means if you donate $5 of new money, you will get um, all the stretch rewards that they hit throughout the day during the telethon. Now, remember, um, money cumulative for the calculated during the telethon and not during the whole 12 hours, but you can donate during a 12 hour window in order to get those rewards. But of course, the best way to make sure we get the most rewards is to uh, donate during the telethon. That's and, right. You no, know, they kill everybody, but at least this one's on a Friday and uh, that's actually Saturday for a lot of you Aussies down under. So um, that should make them a little uh, little happier a little bit there a little happier a little little uh, boost of uh monetary injection that way and the ones on a tuesday or wednesday that's for sure yep but uh let, we, we do have an update from chris's blog from yesterday because you, you know what yesterday he edited his post on that oh yeah uh he did have a totally unrelated note for those who have kept up with shroud for a while you probably remember a longtime employer of ours by the name of finn staber who left uh to do a bunch of vr stuff if you know anything about the austin game uh experience uh in the austin area the vr guy is actually finn staber and he does all kinds of things he created a couple of different gaming companies in austin uh while he was at Portal Aim and then also outside of Portal Aim. But his first game is out on Steam and it is called Baby Hands. Yes. Baby Hands. You two yes. can play a baby in virtual reality. So go check. I've seen the video and the yeah. clips. Some oh, yeah. Really cute looking stuff. And the picture up on screen here is one of the uh, little well, Easter eggs. Yes, it is a huge Easter egg. Um, that game is on Steam. It is called Baby Hands. Go check it out. Go give them a review, whatever. But it, if you didn't know this, there's actually built into the game an Apple II 
Uh, I believe that that's the C. Um, and uh, from there, there is a floppy disk that you actually have to put in, and you can actually play a parody of a Kelebeth in game. They you can actually pirate a copy of yes, the game. Yes, pirate a game. copy of a Kelebeth <laughs> in there yes, for baby. For the achievement of Baby Bootlegger. Uh, I love it. I so, love it. What the hell? Yeah, so, so that... In Baby Hands. And that, again, that is the game, Baby Hands. VR game, but you don't have to play it in VR. It's yeah. pretty cool. Uh, according to Finn, by the way, uh, there are plenty of leftover Easter eggs uh, that he's left here in Shrouded Avatar. Oh, yes. Yes, he has left a ton of them. Have yet to be putting to him, so... Yeah. Uh, lots of great stuff uh, just you know, on a note for you guys. Plenty of Easter eggs hidden in the world throughout from all the developers who are working. So um, always keep a sharp eye out because even people like Finn left plenty in the game. He's oh, yeah. no longer with them. And unless, unless you happen to maybe know Finn and you can ask to verify, the only way to know is going to be to, you know, Ask Finn later on down the line, I guess, whether it was an Easter egg or not. So, Oh, yeah. It, and you can always find Finn on Facebook as well. Finn Staber. Yes, indeed. indeed. Uh, but yes, so if you are interested in VR experiences, he, I, we did have about an hour-long conversation at the uh, holiday party and we, where we were talking about VR games and what he's been doing, and it is just phenomenal. He is all over the place. Um, he has pretty much let his, his first VR, uh, baby go. And that was, it's the sound game. Um, the VR DJing, uh, I can't remember what it was called. I, I forgot, but no, it, I, I've what, known what, this because it, this has been his passion for yeah, quite it, some time. I, 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 I'm brain farting, but I, I remember the name of his game company. It is chicken waffle. Chicken waffles. Huh? Chicken, yeah, chicken chi waffles. Chicken waffle. <laughs> so that is the name of his game company, or yeah. one of his yeah. game companies, yes. Baby waffles, that's right. Yes. So that is awesome. Check that stuff out. Um, if you have VR, uh, go ahead and review it. Have, fun, have a field day. Enjoy the, the interesting stuff that can be found there. So... You, you How would you like to read some questions? That's what I was going to ask you. Uh, are you ready for some <laughs> questions for, for the postmortems? That way we can answer well, them so no, uh, people no don't have to tune in as, as it's, much. It's the answer. day before, so we, we're going to do some today. We'll do some more tomorrow. and uh, Yeah, we're going we're gonna to do something. So we do have all kinds of questions. Don't forget, you... There are two ways to have your questions done on the telethon. They prefer that you actually post your questions beforehand so that way they can get into the actual uh, relevant sections of the telethon, although uh, th they prefer those questions be related to that. But after the fact, Star will go back and take that list of compiled questions and answer them all in a post postmortem answering session uh, that he will post to the forums. We can go back and do, you know, ones we still haven't read, but uh, I think yeah. that's a little too late. Yeah. yeah. I think we got like most two of releases of unread questions we haven't hit. <laughs> more, more like <laughs> 10 releases of stuff that we never finished. Uh, so, or manager wants to know since we are getting the new wolves, bears, and boars, can we get the ability to skin pristine hides and together with the pristine heads get the ability to craft stuffed animals? Sway also wants to include in rugs and fur cloaks and wall hangings and other things. Um, oh, yes. Mm. That, 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 that answer is going to be yes sure. sure but but the but when that time is up it's not going to be in release one more than likely uh 
Oh wait, you know what we really forgot to talk about was Bagma. I, I yeah. just <laughs> had the same thought you did. But right, like, right as I lead, I would love some sort of gear bag to keep our gear and costume to hide from vendor's eyes. R.I.P. Bag. Yeah. Bag yeah. Bag yeah. <laughs> I that gear bag. I it just triggered that memory of gear ba bag mode is gone in release fifty one. Uh, but he's talking about item locking, and that is that has is already here. Uh, items can be locked. Well, you, you can actually have a gear bag. A lot of people don't know that. If you take and put your gear into a separate bag, it'll stay in that bag. Now. Yeah, not, of, not if you use it, it'll go back to your main inventory. And try it. Take it Let's off. See. So it takes yeah. it out of your bag. Then if you change, it goes back into your main inventory. Well, all mine's locked, so it's all in the main bag now yeah. anyway. So it don't matter. And it's all out of sight now since it's locked. So that's even better. Oh, that's uh, cool. Yeah. Except, except for the time when I freaked out when I didn't see it in my inventory because I forgot I locked it. That's yeah. <laughs> so. Where's my own? I don't. I don't. I don't have that issue. Smoker KGB wants to know: Can you please add recipes to the purchase orders list on player vendors? Can you allow us to teach recipes by creating the recipe from our book for sale on player vendors? This would help single player online mode players to teach recipes they already know to others, as well as make a dime. And you can. Hello? Yeah. No. Single player? No, it's not single player offline, it's single player online. So, what's the difference? Well, single, it, if you're in single player, how are you selling something? If you're in single player online, oh, your vendor you, is you, you, single player. Yeah, your vendor is <laughs> visible in all modes. Oh, well. Come on. So he wants yeah, the ability sorry. to add recipes from your yeah, book well, into. I want the ability to be 6.5. Yeah. Well, I can make that happen for you. Uh, I mean, there, there was. Is that little invention called the rack? <laughs> we can stretch you out. I didn't say I wanted to be 6'5". I said I want the ability. Hmm. Well, the, the, the ability is there. <laughs> are you willing to... Yeah. No, are, sorry. You got, you got to deal with the rest of it. We, we don't need more more recipes than we already have in paper hey, form hey. junking up vendors, in my opinion. Hey. Trust me, I junk, junk up enough vendor recipes. Well, you, you, you go by and... Yeah, you, you go... You sell them already, so yeah. Go find Laz's vendors. You can get all your your recipes. Yeah, and I I don't seem to really get why he would want that since ninety nine percent of these recipes are available in hard copy anyway. I, I if you know where to. Them. I don't know. I have no idea. Sell them, I guess. Uh, then can you put loot bundles and other tre treasure in treasure chests? Chest of barrel mimics. Roving Encounters has a good selection of loot in their chests, but treasure chests elsewhere and chest barrel mimics are kind of disappointing. Um, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Justin. <laughs> uh, it, it's so true. So true. Uh, Ajuma. She, and you might as well tell me because if you don't tell us on air, you know she's going to message me and tell me what she said. It's all good. <laughs> she just said. Don't you just tell us what she said. Call it friends only and he'll know what you're talking about. Lol. <laughs> uh, no, because friends only is still multiplayer now. See, see, he wouldn't get it then. Not uh, unless you invite somebody. Hey, it, friends only is only friends when you're already parties so uh is that's not true you go on the friends only anybody on your friends list you can run into no, I don't think no. It works that way. I'm, I'm telling you i've seen that why don't you go try it someday yeah, you're probably we've tried it me and you, you have tried it to where we were not we we're both you're in friends only dungeons and scenes but if you're in friends i was only, talking you know, about towns about the world, Anybody on your friends list can appear to you. I don't think so. <laughs> I beg to differ. I beg to differ. Okay, go, well. go, go test it. 
It is single. Let's try it now, Laz. Why don't you try it now? You know. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Let's see what it now, ain't gonna hurt nothing. Go ahead, try it. <laughs> Show right, here. Well. right on the show. <laughs> Do it. We'll see. We'll see if you're here. Go, go help him out, Led Zep. While while y'all are testing that, because you, you know it. Uh, then is single in single uh sorry would it be possible to have a survival mode and creative mode minecraft style uh the latter would be really nice for world exploration no no yeah that that one's that one's a straight up no yeah because the amount of time that it would actually take to program that kind of things would be another year at least of development probably two or three years and yeah that that's like why they killed bag mode less than three percent of the population uses bag mode ever um and so yeah rest in peace bag rest mode. in peace rest bag in mode. mode yes uh bronco jason asked the question early on one of the benefits of having an ether tower was protection towns with the tower would come under siege less often than those without however sieges as implemented always occur in every town with a devotional regardless of their protection could we see this protection brought back somewhat <laughs> uh, you, well. hey, you don't hey, see your friends and friends only <laughs> What? Oh, you did it? You did it? <laughs> yeah, I told you. did too. Uh -huh. I told you. Doesn't, doesn't show uh, me I any nearby you. players. Yeah. I'm surprised you actually did that. Yeah. Why? Imagine that. <laughs> it's, it's not true. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure. I'm, you know, well, I thought you knew that. Uh, <laughs> well, I had to find out. There you go. Hey, yeah. I remember way back I was running around in Friends Only one day and all of a sudden people were showing up. I'm like, why the fuck am I seeing people on my friends only yeah. well they're on my friends list are you on the overworld map or are you inside of town i was in town okay well oh. test it on the overworld map at the same time yeah well yeah, yeah. i i that's I, weird maybe they changed yeah. things i think uh, originally it was that way i think well it's supposed to work that way but bug but bug, I mean, bug reported friends only all you guys on my friends list should have shown up in that scene why you didn't well then you, they'd have a problem on who's on your friends who's not what's no uh, that it means only my friends lot. that's what friends only means i mean you yeah have but that's like that's like the auto defend okay auto defend is just auto attack except somebody decided to give it a new damn name yeah <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah that's booing right along <laughs> uh, so the great way to create the protection for devotional so that way you're never sieged an embedded town is never sieged so you can put all the devotionals you want inside of an embedded town so as long as the town does not have overworld access, you can put all the devotionals you want and never be sieged. The best kind of protection ever. Yeah, uh, if you're reading what lists had to say on that, there's uh what yeah. no. Uh, I, I was talking uh, about the friends only mode there. Oh, uh, yeah, see if if friends had different friends which friends instance would it pick? well again you got friends so of friends then you basically got the what he's saying is if i was in that instance and you were for instance i should probably see you is what i think he's saying I, but as, say as to the fact that he gave us over almost four million edge cases on how, how many possibilities there are right i would say that my original comment sticks true then there's other <laughs> friends other friends have other friends so which instance are they gonna pick <laughs> so yeah be a friends or friends or friends <sighs> yeah to tell friends tell two friends uh, we have a problem. <laughs> I, I think everybody's face palming right now. <laughs> Kevin Bacon. <laughs> uh, oh. dude. Friends. Yeah. Yeah, well, 
Uh, that, that, so that's like the, the instance matching to begin with based on region. It don't work. Hey, you, you know what? The only way to be in but friends we've left that only mode. The last couple of years, okay? We've left that one alone. It is to be partied together. Um, then let's see. They tell two friends. They tell two friends. Yeah. That's right. And so on. And, and so Get on. It. <laughs> no, choose my instance. Hey, my, my, yeah, friends, my other friends. What <laughs> instance would you like to join? How about I choose an instance for you? <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> How about you tell me the instance? I do you think really? that was the original thought, though, but yeah, <laughs> obviously uh, it's not yeah. going to work. Uh, so the the uh -huh. man, the manual seems to be getting worked on according to the stand up. Uh, can we get a preview of this? If you watched last Damn Friday's uh, Friday telethon thing from Barrick, you would have seen that stuff already. Manual. I know. I mean, it, it, he showed well, screenshots of it. it, it? That, that was on Friday. Nothing changed. No, he's talking constantly. about the physical rewards. Right. How are you gonna write a manual when it changes constantly? Yeah. <laughs> uh, then, ha has any progress been made on the second Blade of the Avatar novel? Will there be more images from Dennis Lubay in it, like the first book? Any idea of a release date? Eventually. Um, um, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. Are you were reading Brown Coat Jason. Where did you go from there? Brown Coat Jason. Brown coat Jason, brown coat Jason. Then I'm at Greg two four seven right now. Have you found it yet? I was there, but that's not what you were reading. <laughs> I was not reading brown coat Jason. Has there been any progress have, with the second Blade of the Avatar novel? And from the you were just stating, which was not Greg two four seven. I'm sorry. I I said I was I have not read anything from Greg two four seven. That's where I am at now. Again, you you commented on something after Brown Coat Jason that was in a that was right that was in a Brown Coat Jason <laughs> post. So, but you're bouncing around the post. So instead of reading sequentially, so people on screen can follow, you went from you, you act like you're paying attention. Well, <laughs> yeah. I've only got about a half dozen right. problems going on here at the moment. Right. So excuse me if I'm not exactly on. Yeah, you know, it makes it because I'm on screen, and when I'm looking at what you're supposed to be reading, and you're not reading it, uh, it confuses not just me but the audience. Oh, I don't. I don't. I, I, I think the audience is still confused by friends only mode. <laughs> I'm so confused. Yeah. Then uh, let's see. Greg247 wants to know, will we one day be able to set aside a portion of our pots as a free range area where we can raise our own animals, cows, chickens, bows for eventual harvesting? These animals could provide a higher quality of meat than animals encountered in the wild and possibly give higher amounts of resources as well. Uh, not in scope. And then in episode two, mounts. We don't have yeah. mounts. Do we have mounts? No, we do not have mounts okay. as of yet because they did not make not the, the old lady, baby. <laughs> it did not make the great things. Arr, she blows. Yeah. Aster Cerb Cerberus wants to know: Will there be another NPC submission round prior to launch to meet the Kickstarter goal of naming NPCs? Some of us are waiting for Central Brit to submit our NPCs to be present in the capital of the continent. Yeah. Yes, that should because be. There's a lot of people who uh, have that pledge reward who have yet to uh, get that fulfilled. Oh, I, I have it many times over because I haven't submitted a single name yet. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. I, I'm curious how they're going to broach that subject and get everybody in. Eventually. You know, yeah, they'll, they'll just do a bunch of, okay, we've got this many NPCs to name. Please submit your names. And then Lum will sit there and say, I sorry, I didn't like your name, so I didn't put it in the game. 
but <laughs> but then we get things like Darcy of Pax Lair as an actual NPC name. Uh, Hazard will the graphical representation of select cities on the Overland map be getting any updates in the near future along the quality immersive level of the artwork for our doors. Um, possibly. Possibly. Uh, early on in development, during development, I recall talk about the idea that danger would increase as night falls. Are there future plans to implement this or bring about more select spawn or encounters as the sun sets? Happens already. Uh, well, I, I wanted to say that one of the things that they actually talked about early on was like the dynamic spawns and the spawns were actually supposed to move. And happens already. To me, it doesn't happen as much as you it don't, should. You don't hunt as much as you should. <laughs> That's probably also the case. As uh, yeah. trust me, when you're out there and you're in a grind and you're going, okay, let's go do this, and all of a sudden that pops up, yeah. you'll know it's happened. Okay. Yeah. But more, when there was dynamic. only two there in the past 15 times you come through, and then all of a sudden there's a pack waiting for you, you it, know it's happening. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah. When we'll be able to. But I'm, when, I'm, both, both of those are in game already. Yeah. I, I just if like you go out to many scenes at nighttime, you will be accosted by gruesome nightly creatures. Um, so yes, that has already been implemented in yeah. the game. <laughs> oh, yeah. Saying. yeah, yep. And, and Julian's if pointing you're out friends that only and you see that Laz walk running around. It, it's time for Laz to actually do something. No, nah, not. Nah. Yeah, it is. Yet. Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, you, you want to you want to answer the question? When will we be able to fight the floor? <laughs> the floor. I I uh, think the floor is going to win no matter what. Yes. The floor is, is definitely going to have to have brewing. As yes. 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 Bre brewing shall be coming at some point in time in the near future. That's right. That's right. Yeah. But uh, Jack, you're correct. It is time. For us to move on here and uh, tell you folks about oh that wonderful God. Shroud of the Avatar app. That's right. Go get your coffee from the outhouse, Seth. We'll wait for you. All right. <laughs> Good idea. It's okay. We'll wait for you. Good yeah. idea. That's right. And then Shroud of the Avatar <laughs> app available out there in the Google Play Store, the Apple iTunes Store, or the Amazon App Store. Uh, for all your electronic devices, you can take Shrouded Avatar with you on the run, on the go, or while you're going, however you feel appropriate. You can read the NBNN Daily Britannian. You can check out the forums. You can watch popular videos, tune into our channels, listen to the radio, shop the marketplaces, social media, and, of course, the NBNN Shrouded Avatar community calendar. Find out going on around town every day of the week right here on nbnn.info. Click on the calendar link and uh, check out what's ha happening in your... Of course, uh, real quick, I know this is uh, not on today's calendar, but I did throw it in Discord last night. Uh. It was the Tater Todd Empire. Zach was in last night. Yeah, Tater Todd Empire is doing... Their monthly uh, flea market out in the Crossroads pal at the Palisades Mall. So go to the town of Crossroads, which is right outside of Brittany, and join in on the Palisades monthly or the Palisades Mall monthly flea market. Uh, but our community calendar is a Google public calendar that Laz has aggregated all of the available calendars related to Shroud of the Avatar in one place. And if you have a Google public calendar or if you want to add events to the Shroud community calendar, you need to message the guy that's not this on guy. camera today, Laz. You know, you at, know who he's talking about. At it's news at nbnn.info. i pointing to myself. Yes. <laughs> 
Remember, all times on the community calendar are central time in the real world, but we prefer to refer to it as Nude Britannia time. Nude Britannia time. Twelves and sixes around the clock. You can always tune in your ether amplifiers to Radio Free Britannia and listen to Wait. two idiots interpreting the news. <laughs> because they don't hunt, but they can tell you all about teleports and recall squirrels on a little show called Lunch with, with us. That. Yeah. At 5 p.m., Avatars Radio is going country. At 6 o'clock, DJ Cell is taking over for some faster and louder. Faster, louder. At 7 p.m., you can always join Kays and Phoenix Fire or Malahari for the Phoenix Republic PVE nights and go explore all kinds of scenes if they're available. At 7 p.m. on Radio Free Britannia is the 70s at 7 at 10 p.m. on Avatars Radio is Temper Tantrum Today. And the final event of the evening on the radio, on Radio Free Britannia. Or is that Wadio Radio? Radio. Wadio Radio? Free Britannia. Radio Radio. The Record Room. And that's our community calendar for this February 1st in Shroud of the Avatar. Shroud. Cough, cough, hack, hack. Yeah. yeah, that's right. And of course, that means it's time to tell you about the good folks to help support us. Don't forget, you're listening to or watching a uh, screen with nobody on it right now. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're no. having it, 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 video it, difficulties. It, if the, if the, it's, it's live for me. <laughs> Oh, it's live. Jack's, Jack's got two pictures of live. And so you're watching a screen with Jet Pitcher on it now. So just so yeah. you know, you're watching NBNN Lunch yes. with Laz and Jack or listening in replays. And of course, if you want to support NBNN, you can go to nbnn.info and click on the uh, donate links. You can go to twitch.tv slash Genesis or twitch.tv slash NBNN News and donate there or you be can become a patron and be a monthly supporter go to patreon.com slash nbnn news now of course got a question from the audience asking how is our youtube thing going and it's going like hell ain't no way in hell any of us people uh, are gonna make those numbers in order for the cut off subscribe. So. Gotta, but nope. if you want to subscribe i think i need about 600 more more still uh, by February 21st, I think the cutoff date is. Uh, it's on the website. And, of course, uh, the Blitz is still on. So please uh, yeah, tell your friends, tell your family. Uh, if we can get to 1,000, uh, that should keep NBNN monetized. Uh, and, of course, Jack's got a very no, small thing going on. Yeah, you no you need way. about 800, 900. A gajillion. You don't, you don't even have the hours to qualify. Well, uh, I think I can make the hours up. Uh, but yeah, there's no way in hell I'm going to make the partner status. So it's like, fuck YouTube. Yeah. So uh, what's, the, what's the alternative there? Coming up here right around the anniversary, I'm sure there's going to be several changes because the things we're going to need to contemplate. But we'll talk to you all about that when, yeah. when the time as uh, because again, launch is coming and. Uh, all sorts of interesting things, uh, new things happening in the world, and we're going to be bringing that to you here on NBNN. Uh, don't forget the Airy Fun T-shirt sweepstakes sponsored by Merits and Shrouded Avatar. You, too, can enter daily to win five competition T-shirts being worn by Team Avatar at the Austin Marathon, supporting the Children's Miracle Hospital Network. And, of course, if you want more information, you can check out the forums or go out to airyfund.org or the Merits app to get the latest information on the wands putting the magic in your hands. Hmm. Arcane focus in your hands. Hmm. <laughs> and arcane focus the same way, folks, I'm telling you. Word. Yes, coil more wands. If you're looking for custom Wands or stitch. Coil More Wands is the place to go. If you want it made to custom spec, Arius Coil More will take your specs and he will work diligently till he gets the item that you want. 
Scrota's music service. Of course, Scrota offers his music for fee. Scrota. Available on TroutMarketplace.com. That's right. He may be, he does a solo gig, he does a group gig, whatever you want. But for hire, the Britannia hey. Mining Company wants you to come check out Black Rock Cove. Newly renovated, newly laid business, Black Rock Cove wants you to come check out all the vendors available for all your crafting needs out there in the world. And and of course, if you're going to open up a shop or you want to live close to easy access mining, go check out Black Rock Cove, located in the Quell region, right next to the town of Etzeter, and conveniently no located next to the Etzeter and Elysium Mines, just a boat right away. Relicsbyreal.com for all your licensed shrouded avatar swag. If you need t-shirts, if you need hats, if you need shot glasses, coffee mugs, mugs, Bumper stick hoodies, you name it, Relic Spy Rill's got it, and he'll sell it to you cheap, especially if you use the promo code NBNN. You'll save check out at relicsbyrill.com when you use the promo code. WRFB Radio Free Britannia bringing you the latest in news and entertainment right here inside Shrouded Avatar. Seven days a week around the clock for your listening pleasure. You got us five days a week, every noon to one, right here in game with lunch with Laz and Jack. Mondays with the GMC Top 20. Days and Wednesdays, the Deco Divas. Starting off your Thursday morning, you got Sarah and Andar, uh, homing. Crow bring late night Friday, uh, bringing you that late night grind. And you wake up every Saturday morning with Wake Up New Britannia with Wolfton and Justin bringing you the latest uh, Saturday morning entertainment right here on the airwaves. And muttoning throughout the week. And of course, last but definitely not least, ShroudMarketplace.com for all your virtual vendable needs in here in game. Of course, Shroud Marketplace uh, pushing almost a hundred vendors out there yep that's right um, nearly a hundred different player vendors registered on shroud marketplace every single one of those vendors is responsible for maintaining their own inventory setting their own prices so they get to choose what they want to sell and for how much they want to sell it and if you're looking to buy stuff you can find stuff cheaper than other places you can find all kinds of stuff from accounts to game gold crowns of the obsidian all the way to services Anything and everything is available on Shroud Marketplace. I love the fact that, like, Crowns of the Obsidian, you can find them cheaper than the add-on store. I mean, 100 Kodos on the add-on store is, what, $85? $85, and that's <clears throat> as low as... As low as you can get it off of the add-on store? store? Yeah. Ever. And at Shroud Marketplace, a couple different vendors selling it for 65 I mean, great things. Game Gold, you've got all kinds of different sellers selling different quantities to where you can become an instant millionaire all the way down to, hey, I need just 10K. Instant millionaire right yeah. on Shroud Marketplace. That's right. A couple all hundred dollars yeah. make you millionaire. Crumbs. That's yeah. crumbs. That's crumbs. crumbs. That's crumbs to Led Zepp. I, I say you, Sally. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anything and everything, all, all those expired virtue items uh those quest hats that are a couple of years old uh only going to get rarer as time progresses uh i mean, teleports and recall scrolls i mean, the great thing about shroud That's marketplace right. when you're looking at items you can actually see different players that have different costs associated with it so if you're looking at like teleports and recall scrolls and you want to buy some there's a couple of different vendors selling teleports and recall scrolls i mean well, Laz isn't on camera, so I can't point at him. But he's selling teleports and recall scrolls for four ninety nine. Okay, you're not going to do your four ninety nine. Four forty nine. I'm selling them for four forty nine. It's a hundred teleports and recall scrolls for four forty nine. I, I, I just sure. changed my price. Oh, you did just did. <laughs> so so far, I'm not seeing it because I'm seeing four ninety nine, but four forty nine right here. For my shop, so you can see all kinds of stuff, and that well, includes. <clears throat> That's right. <laughs> Be like that other guy that turned around and sold them, and 
someone went out and bought him out and yeah, he had to buy it from us in game he, 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 he screwed yeah. the pooch on that one it's he all good. sold way too much he may, must have lost his yeah he did he, he, he made, made he, a buck at least he made a mistake and uh he paid for it uh but yes, yes. Pay, anything paid us well for it <laughs> yeah anything and everything including your power leveling services you can find several people offering those on shroud marketplace uh uh, Mouse Power Hour, Armelian's Gold, and more. You can find some mining help, some pet quest help. You can find the cheesiest writing of them all at Wolfdom Shop. Cheesy writing. Yeah. Or if you're looking for an in-game wedding. If you need to see what cheesy writing looks like, you can come out to our lot yeah. right here in-game and take a look, and uh, you can get a really good example of what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Cheese sign writing. Also, I get to some meat press. Like, well, the, the the sausage writing was done by me. It was not done by. by that's right. Yeah. So yeah. The big sausage writing. Shroudmarketplace.com. Go register for an account. Buy all the stuff that you need. And if you want to sell stuff, go ahead and click on vendor registration, and you too can get in business today. That's right. Dude. And it is it's that free to rip you just sign up yep. and no, no, what is it? No limit on listings. That's yeah. You can list as many for. items as you want. Um, indeed. I, I always put my stuff in a chest separate whenever I'm sell, selling stuff for cash versus a vendor. So that way in case of accident, I don't run into the issue where, Hey, I sold it in game and now I don't have it. So I don't have to process a <laughs> refund. So, yeah. Uh, but it is, it is it is time for us to get out of here and thank the everybody for hanging out with us today and dealing with lots of technical I difficulties. I just realized what your sheep's name was. You're bad. <laughs> yeah. It's been that way for a month. You're really bad. But yeah, it's time for us to wrap it up and say so, goodbye. Th thank today. you for watching out on Twitch, we YouTube, or listening on Radio Free Britannia. That's right. Thanks for sticking with us through the technical difficulties. Jeez, what are you two guys doing down there, man? What the hell? Stop. And for my mouth, yeah. it's the wrong head. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Feels good. <laughs> yeah, but we got to get out of here. We'll be back with more tomorrow on the weekend roundup here on NBN. Until then, I'm Laz. I'm Jack. And Bye -bye. we are in the NN. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you all, hopefully, without technical difficulties tomorrow. It's going to be technical difficulties when Friday. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.